I am your host, Leah Denla, and you are listening to the Oracle On Purpose podcast, where we help intentional leaders clarify their purpose and next steps to create a work and life of significance. Hi, everyone. I'm back. I just returned from like two and a half, almost three weeks um, in Scotland, where I held this year's Master Creators Alchemy Retreat with some phenomenal women who really this year they blew the doors off as far as what the energy was they brought what they created in the space what they let go of in the space and you know i i was thinking about you know when we finish a retreat when we finish something with a client we want to know if they're satisfied right and and so many people go out looking for support services things like that and they and the and some people I shouldn't say so many people some people maybe even a lot of people look for the guarantee what's the guarantee and they hit on this um, you know the the satisfaction guarantee form or section of the contract or you know what can what can I make sure I'll get what can I make sure I'll get and I think that we're looking at this all wrong and I'll tell you why ultimately the only person that can guarantee your satisfaction is you only you can guarantee your satisfaction only you can make it so that what you would receive from a service or a opportunity or an event or anything really is you oh my god side note oh just said even sex um satisfaction really comes from within it comes from knowing what it is you need what it is you desire what it is you're calling for from the other and then get this asking for it being brave enough and honest enough and true enough to yourself to ask for what you want ask for what you desire, ask for what you need. In fact, it was interesting because during the retreat, uh, several of the groups had been in the Master Creators Alchemy retreat and also in our Master Creators Guild, which is my group program. And we had had a mastermind a while ago. And during the mastermind, one of the activities I had them do was to just ask for something. Didn't matter what, just go out and ask a stranger for something, no matter what it was and you know reel forward to the retreat and some of the women around and they brought this back they brought this idea back like when we ask for something guess what not only might you get what you ask for you might even get something better you might even get something better so when we look about like how do we how do we make sure that we're satisfied how do we guarantee that we're satisfied the first thing i would like to suggest is to know know what it feels like what your system resonates as satisfied at what point do you know kind of in your marrow that you're solid that you feel good in your own skin that the experience you're having the people you're around the conversation you're in is filling you up It's filling you up in a way that you feel connected to source. You can feel connected to your own self, your own regulation. And so to me, that's why you really can't have satisfaction guaranteed by someone else. Someone else cannot guarantee you satisfaction. Now they can give you a satisfaction guarantee in a form, but if you look at it and you think about it, what they're saying is if you are not satisfied, here's what I will do for you, right? Side note, that's the first thing you look at as far as, you know, getting involved in something or purchasing something or what have you. I think there might be a bigger lesson for you there, which is, can you choose, can you decide or choose a thing knowing that your satisfaction is on you? Can you decide or choose a thing knowing that your satisfaction is up to you? So it's a matter of what can you engage in from an aligned place and do you even know how much do you practice being aware of where that that line inside of you is solid and says yes this is for me this is mine this is about me this is what i desire 
it's funny because when I start with most of my clients, um, they'll sit down and they'll tell me a list of the things they do not want. I don't want to do this. I, I'm tired of having this happen. I don't want to be doing this anymore. I don't, I don't, I want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want. And I just let them go, you know, let them vent, get all of that out of their system. And then I'm chuckling because I know that anybody who knows me, who has worked with me, um, any member of my group who's watching this right now will start laughing as well because the first question I ask back is, okay, great. So what do you want? What do you want? What is it? And that's my favorite thing about the Purpose and Prosperity Accelerator that's coming up in January. That's, it's all about that. It's about peeling back the layers of all the stuff that we've thought we need to make or do or have or be, right? To satisfy usually somebody else's version of success or, or rightness or acceptableness. And we peel all of that away and behind it all, we get down to, as they say, brass tacks. What do you want? What do you want? So I'm asking you, what do you want? How big is your biggest, juiciest, grandest idea of what you'd like to create or have or experience in this life that's yours? It's yours to be satisfied by, in and with. So if you're thinking as you're listening to this, man, oh man, she's talking to me. Maybe I am. <laughs> and if that's you, I want to invite you. I'm so excited. We're, we're getting ready. We're going to open the doors. In fact, I think they're open now, so you can go and check it out. But ultimately, I wanted to just say, just remember, satisfaction is, is within you. It's in your hands, if you will. And if you've been struggling to get past some of those don't wants, right? Struggling with the ideas of other people about what's acceptable or not acceptable or how you can't be this thing or you can only be this way, I invite you to come on inside. If you've been following me for even a minute, you know that people in this group in particular have incredible results. Um, we've had people find homes, properties, you land million dollar deals, change, you know, relationship patterns, hold space for themselves so much more beautifully than they've ever before. So much is available when you know and you decide and you take specific steps to get what you truly want in life. So I invite you, if this sounds good to you, to go to up or down here, um, check out the link. I think under my name in the bio, it says there's a link there, but it's the purpose and prosperity accelerator.com. Super, super, super simple. Um, we have space open now. So if you hop on there now, you have options as far as payments go. It is one of my favorite things to do with clients. It's an opportunity to work with me for 13 weeks to get um, some of that juicy insight and aha and direct guidance from the oracle that you might have heard about as you hear some of this amazing result celebrations that i post here on my page clients rave about it they come back again and again and um i want you to be with us so we start in january again the link is already open i believe for um people to sign up so this isn't like a fancy like you have until this time you have the chance, you have the opportunity now to join us. And I hope that you will. And I hope that even if you don't join us, then you remember that as you look out on your decisions and your choices, that if you're looking to be satisfied and you're looking to have someone else guarantee it, then you're looking the wrong way. Take a look in the mirror. Remember the only one that can really guarantee your satisfaction is you. All right, I'm Leah Dunlap. I'm known as Oracle on Purpose. I guide women leaders who are spiritually minded to find full alignment with their purpose and their path to prosperity. If that sounds good to you, I invite you to come join us in January. Um, stick around. I'm sure you'll see more of me here. Have a great night and we'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to the Oracle on Purpose show. If you found value in this episode, we'd appreciate you leaving a comment. Also, you can subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't yet. If you'd like to get clear on your highest vision and next steps, go to oracleonpurpose.com. See you next week.